I guess I'll start by saying that in my several years of being involved in politics, I never proposed or voted for a tax increase. Having said that, I don't see that there would be any choice about helping part of the plan be an increase in revenue in Washington. I think that's just a given. And, you know, there are lots of excuses that people can make for being against something. Been there myself, understand how that works. But in this case, again, if you keep your eye on priority one, which is to fix the debt and make this country safe for the future fiscally, then, then I think that will justify to the average voter, not all of them, but to the average voter, uh, whatever it takes right now. Okay. Matt, if I could, Matt, if I could just, just comment on Governor Holzhauser's comment. I think, as many of you know, the Simpson-Bowles Commission, which was bipartisan, really endorsed a bigger a bigger comprehensive look at this whole thing, as Governor Hunt has, has highlighted. And it highlighted that you can't get there alone on either cuts or revenue. You need both. That's right. And on the revenue side, their recommendation, and again, we're not here today to endorse that as a specific plan. We happen to believe it's a good framework, that it talked about broad tax reform that in all the economic studies that I've seen, nonpartisan studies say that broadening tax reform and broadening the base raises more revenues. So revenues clearly have to be part of this. And what we're urging our leaders in the White House and in Congress is to sit down together, listen to each other, but at the end of the day, fix this long-term problem that is really eating at the structure of our future.